So what is a research idea? Research idea is any that is a problem or an issue that we need to focus on. So the first step to develop a research idea is to identify a research problem. So that research problem in clinical research would be any clinical problem cl that you think that can be addressed with clinical research. That may be a better intervention, a different treatment, or it may be some quality improvement, how you can improve the patient care, or how you can improve the functioning of your clinic. So all of those can be research problems that you would like to focus on, and you can generate your research idea. Um, the other things that we need to uh, keep in mind when we are developing research idea is to know the importance of the research problem, whether it is that clinical problem is really of importance or significance. So what we have here at the bottom is a linear path of starting from the research topic. For example, you are interested in pediatric research. That is the topic. Then you came across the issue, a clinical issue. That may be uh, treatment of asthmatic pediatric patients or pediatric patients who have asthma. Then you collect the evidence for that issue. From where you are going to collect the evidence, that would be from literature, that may be from um, your clinical practice, your own observations, or your discussions with your peers or experts. And then you identify def deficiencies in evidence. And last, you you answer that question how you are going how addressing the deficiencies will affect practice and patient care so these are the key important elements that we have to keep in mind or those are the processes that goes on when we are developing the research idea okay so when developing the research idea we there is a model that we use and that is um, that the acronym is finer and our research idea and subsequently the research question should pass one, uh, needs to pass one question, that is so what test. If I'm doing that research, so what? How is it going to help? How is it going to help patient care? How is it going to help your clinical practice? Uh, if we are able to answer this question, does it contribute to our state of knowledge? One way to determine this question is, actually important is the acronym FINER. FINER describes feasibility, interesting, novel, ethical, and relevant. Whether your research idea is feasible, uh, you have adequate number of patients and participants, your clinical practice site is adequate to conduct that clinical research based on the research idea or that research project. Uh, expertise, do you have the expertise to conduct clinical research or do you have a team with those skills and expertise that, that research project would be successful? Affordability is an, uh, another important component in clinical research. And when we say affordability, that is not only financial affordability, but also in, time of the, in terms of the time consumption. Whether you have time that you can dedicate to your research project and then the scope of the project. We do not want a, a, that scope to be too narrow, that its significance will be diminished. Or we do not want it to be that broad that the feasibility will be an issue that you cannot conduct that in a timely manner. Then the interesting, getting the answer intrigues investigators, colleagues, patients. Um, how novel it is. Uh, in the next slide, we will talk about uh, clinical equ equipoise. So again, uh, whether you are going to find something new or you are going to confirm something that is has already been conducted but you want to see those um, you want to answer that research question in a different set, setting pop, um, patient setting or um, uh, patient population or you are going to refute or extend previous findings uh, ethical we all know that our research projects go through the IRBs uh, institutional review boards so when you are thinking about a research project and you have a research idea, think about that, the, um, the ethical issues, whether your research project, once you have designed that study, would it get approved from IRB or not? The last is the relevant. To scientific knowledge, clinical practice, health policy, future research, how re relevant your research idea and research project is. Once you have all of these five different components 
of this um, of finer, then there is a higher rate of success for your research project. The chances of you conducting it successfully are higher. 